So Sam Altman actually gave a recent talk slash interview in which he gave us some very new and stunning revelations on GPT-5. So in this video, what I will try to do is I will try to show you guys the nine biggest things and the nine biggest takeaways from that talk that he gave. And it was actually pretty surprising because things are changing rapidly. And if you aren't paying attention, um, you're going to get shocked by what GPT-5 has to offer. So without wasting any more time, let's dive into the first point. So one of the first things that, uh, you know, Sam Altman said was that he said GPT-5 will exceed all expectations. So it says Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, said that the extent of GPT-5 performance improvements will exceed expectations and has cautioned against the delay in innovation that overlooked this. Each time the GPT's next model was developed, it is emphasized that more new thinking is needed as various areas of daily life, as well as businesses, are inevitably replaced and disappear. And in fact, this is the first time that CEO Sam Altman has given such a confident signal about the performance of GPT-5. He made it clear that his and OpenAI's goal is to build artificial general intelligence, which we all know about, and that if a large amount of computational resources are invested to accelerate the arrival of AGI, many problems in reality, such as the power shortage required for AI computation, can be easily solved. And they also made optimistic predictions that this would happen. Now, we're going to be talking a lot more about some of this stuff. But the first point here is that GPT-5 will exceed all expectations. Now, later on in the video, you're going to see how some other points that he made actually do tie into this. But the point here is that GPT-5 is going to exceed what we think it's capable of. And I think... Sam Altman is saying that because maybe a lot of people are thinking about, you know, these AI systems in a very, very one dimension. And what I mean by that is that, you know, I guess a lot of people are thinking about GPT-5 as a very one dimensional system. But perhaps what Sam Altman and OpenAI are doing is a lot more, uh, I guess you could say, in terms of what we think. Now, we don't know when this system is going to come, but I'm guessing that since it's going to exceed expectations, maybe it's going to be competing on certain benchmarks that we haven't even thought about. For example, there might be the SWE benchmark, which is a software engineering for real tasks benchmark. There might be new benchmarks because this AI system has a new capability that many people haven't even thought of. And I think that that is probably where it's going to exceed expectations, considering the advanced reasoning capabilities and how good this system system could be. Now, one of the reasons I think it's going to also exceed expectations is because if we take a look at GPT-5, you have to remember that it finished training in around, I think it was 2022 or 2023. I'm not exactly sure on the year, I've been doing so many videos recently, but the point is, is that it's been over a year since GPT-4's release and competitors need to be able to catch up to that. And they've only caught up fairly recently. So we have basically got an entire year ahead in terms of where OpenAI is compared to the competitors. And that's why I think it's definitely going to shock us. Now, number two is that AGI is, of course, potentially going to be a done deal. So, of course, on March 14th local time during a meeting with the Korean Silicon Valley Correspondent Group, CEO Sam Altman mentioned, I'm not sure when GPT-5 will be released, but it will make significant progress as a model taking a leap forward in advanced reasoning capabilities. There are many questions about whether there are any limits to GPT, but I can confidently say no. He expressed confidence that if sufficient computing resources are invested, building AGI that surpasses human capabilities is entirely feasible. So point number two is that AGI might just be a done deal. So what do I mean by this? Essentially, what Sam Altman is stating here, as we've previously discussed on this channel many times before, is that AGI is something that seems to be largely solved by OpenAI and that the only barrier to making this technology is the compute resources needed. And I think that that is, of course, something that OpenAI are taking into consideration with the fact that they lack enough compute to even run their systems. Currently, GPT-4 is on limited access, you know, only 25 messages every three hours or 40 messages. And it shows us that they really don't have that much compute and that they're saving the compute for other things, not only for solving super alignment, as they said in their blog, but, you know, he's expressed confidence that if enough computing resources are invested, that building AGI that surpasses human capabilities is entirely feasible. Now, another thing that I want to add here before we move on to the next point is that there's some nuance in this statement. Now, this was actually translated from Korean to English, so there might be some discrepancies in what Sam Altman actually did say, 
But I think if um, Sam Altman did say that AGI that surpasses human capabilities, that is, you know, teetering on the edge of artificial superintelligence, which is, you know, very, very, you know, good and very, very crazy in terms of its capability. So that will be a pretty, pretty crazy thing. So point number two is that AGI seems like it's a done deal. And the seven trillion deal, which we all spoke about, that is, of course, something that Sam Altman has, you know, spoke about before. And it seems like he's going to be moving forward with that because it's necessary necessary for the artificial general intelligence system to be built so that is going to be something that is rather fascinating a third point is that of course the economy will change once again ceo sam altman also said that underestimating the improvement margin of the developing gpt5 and deploying business accordingly would be a big mistake this implies that the improvement margin of gpt5 is beyond imagination he mentioned many startups are happy assuming that gpt5 will only make slight progress rather than significant advancements since it presents more business opportunities but i think this will be a big mistake in this case as often happens when the technological upheavals occur they will be steamrolled by the next generation models so this is rather fascinating because sam altman clearly is saying here that gpt5 is on a level which is you know as i think they said beyond imaginations but this is something that you know like i said in the video two days ago um sam altman has previously stated that build with you know the fact that gpt5 is going to be insane and that agi will be achieved relatively quickly which means that if you're building a company right now you have to understand that agi is going to be achieved soon which means that you know certain things that you're building certain software and certain systems you have to think okay how would an agi fit into this because that is where the future is headed anyway so you need to be thinking about that so you can benefit from agi rather than agi coming and then of course you know getting steamrolled by the next generation model it's like if you're building something that's like a large language model before if you're building something like a simple writer based app or something like that you know uh it doesn't really make sense to do that when we have uh you know gpt4 type systems about so the point is is that you need to build with agi in mind and build with the fact that gpt5 is going to have advanced capabilities and of course you know in this case often happens when technological upheavals occur they are going to get steamrolled by the next generation so you know many startups are happy assuming gpt5 is only going to make slight progress and what he means by this is that you know if gpt5 makes slight progress on gpt4 of course it's good for businesses because they can still use it but i'm guessing that gpt5 is probably going to make many uh, businesses obsolete in the sense that like for example you know some people wrap gpt4 for example let's say you use gpt4 in like a you know something like grammarly maybe grammarly goes obsolete because gpt5 is so good that you no longer need to use grammarly for doing all sorts of things you can just do everything with that one type of system so i um, happy assuming that it's only going to make slight progress rather than significant advancements um this is a big mistake so um don't get steamrolled by the next generation model something big is coming the economy will change once again in terms of you know uh the sliding slash shifting jobs market in terms of how companies are going to react to this so this is something that you must be paying attention to if you're someone who is building something or if you're someone who is in that industry don't get steamrolled by the next generation model ensure that you are prepared for these uh, advanced capabilities now another thing and this thing this one is quite uh obvious but at the same time not that obvious but um he's just focused on ai it says sam altman appears to have had no interest in other than building agi so his interest seems to have faded in other technologies including blockchain and biotechnology beyond ai he said in the past i had a broad perspective on everything happening in the world and can see things i couldn't from a narrow perspective unfortunately these days i'm entirely focused on ai ai all of the time and at full tilt making it difficult to have other perspectives and i think the reason sam altman has shifted to just entirely focusing on ai is because i think he understands that once you solve the artificial general intelligence problem i think every other problem gets solved by default for example if we manage to solve the compute problem and we manage to get agi across the board every other industry ripples in effect because if we can have agi workers agi software developers ai agi level researchers uh you know let's say we can clone them we've got like a million of these clones are running 24 7 doing non-stop research non-stop work that is an a thousand x a million x product productivity boost and the amount of work that's going to get done is seriously seriously incredible which means the economy is going to start moving at light speed and of course things like biotechnology things like the blockchain that that they are going to be moving very very rapidly thanks to the advancement of agi so i think it's going to be a thing where he's just focused on agi because he understands that yes you know all of these other things are going to be solved but i think everything is going to be largely solved by agi so sam altman right now is just purely focused on agi 
Another thing, number five, is that more compute is needed. Now, we obviously previously discussed this, but it says recently, CEO Sam Altman has been working towards innovating the goal, innovating the global AI infrastructure, sparking discussions with rumors of $7 trillion in funding. He said, apart from thinking about the next generation AI model, the area where I've been spending most of my time recently is computing construction. As I'm increasingly convinced that computing will become the most important currency in the future. That is a crazy, crazy statement. And he says, however, the world has not planned for sufficient computing and is failing to confront this issue, pondering what is needed to build an enormous amount of computing as cheaply as possible poses a significant challenge. And this indicates a major concern about con securing computational resources for implementing AGI. Now, essentially, this is what I've highlighted in yellow. And I think it's really, really important because, you know, compute is going to be the most important currency in the future. And that means that we are about to see another technological shift in some of these companies like TSMC, NVIDIA, because the GPUs, the compute, the, you know, the cloud space, all of these companies that, that we're going to be needing to use, these are going to be some of the most important things in the future because they are going to be the backbone of these AGI systems. And, you know, right now it seems that Sam Altman, you know, now that he's focusing on, you know, looking at, you know, the hardware side where he's looking to just power these systems, it seems that maybe the open AI on the software side have probably figured out all the algorithms they need in order to get what the end goal is, which is AGI and of course ASI. So I'm guessing that since artificial general intelligence, the level of progress that we've seen is largely, you know, nearly solved. They'll probably solve the the last, you know, I guess you could say piece of the puzzle being compute. It seems that Sam Altman is rapidly trying to increase that compute capacity because that seems like it's probably the main issue. Now, here we have point six. And point six is that there's likely an event tomorrow. Now, this isn't directly from the thing. This isn't directly from the article. But this is a high possibility. This is a comment from Reddit, but I also do agree with this. And someone said, I posted this comment elsewhere, but now we have multiple things pointing to a March 19 release. Number one is the same conditions as the Tuesday, March 14th GPT-4 release last year, which was a Microsoft event on Thursday, an upcoming Lex Friedman interview with Sam Altman. We also have Microsoft Copilot offering GPT-4 Turbo for free. So there's very little incentive for ChatGPT+. We also have the discontinuation of plugins on ChatGPT on March 19th. And Microsoft's event is titled Advancing the New Era of Work with Copilot. And what would they be advancing if they just showed us the same Copilot we've had this entire time? If it's anything last like last year, Microsoft would want to show us something big. Of course, we could be wrong. Now, of course, it's always not really good to speculate about when events are going to happen because it kind of just creates this false sense of hype. And we do know that with, uh, you know, Sam Altman, OpenAI and with whatever's going on, we never really know. Now, of course, we do know that the recent lawsuit did you put a spanner in the works because they were planning on releasing something and we know that that kind of makes things a little bit more difficult but the point is is that potentially there could be an event tomorrow because it's very very close to the um dates of what we've had last year and sam altman is doing another i wouldn't say press tour but he's doing another one of his famous interviews and that was a time we released something as well now in addition to that an open ai employee and this is someone that doesn't really tweet a lot about hypes so point number seven is that someone else has tweeted that it's been one year since gpt4's release hope you all enjoyed some time to relax it will have been the slowest 12 months of ai progress for quite some time to come so if we take a look back here we can see that, ladies and gentlemen, the last 12 months of AI progress apparently have been the slowest progress of AI for quite some time. And I think that the AI progress has been pretty crazy from everything to robotics, to Gemini Pro, Gemini Ultra, um, with Anthropics Claude 3. Um, but apparently, this is slow. Appar like, apparently, this is slow. So the OpenAI employees are stating that, you know, what the last 12 months have been slow, which means that what we're about to enter from today's date, you know, March 16th onwards, um, are going to show you how fast things are going to move, which means that there are going to be a lot of changes going on in many different industries that will likely surprise us. So that is going to be something that is pretty shocking. Um, and yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty interesting because uh, like someone said before, this is someone that doesn't really tweet a lot of hype stuff. But then again, of course, as you know, if you're going to tweet something about your company, you're always going to make sure it's going to be in a good light. Now, coming in at the eighth point here is that Sam Altman actually did say that patience, Jimmy, it will be worth the wait. This is in response to an open AI leaker who has a lot of information. But essentially, he's stating that, look, we're waiting for something. We're going to drop something. But when it does drop, it's going to be 100% worth the wait, which means that likely whatever is coming next 
isn't going to be some kind of, you know, standard level AI system. I think that even though I've made predictions before on what GPT-5 has, you know, like what they've outlined for it, I think in the future, it's going to be a rapidly crazy system. And I think that realistically, what we're going to have here is something that is really, really, really surprising. So I am going to be, you know, waiting for whatever they're going to drop. And I think that, you know, them stating that it's going to be worth the wait means that they're largely going to be dropping something that probably blows their competition out of the water. Now, Coming in at number nine is something also rather fascinating as well. It's because Sam Altman also recently said just after that, you know, interview thing was that, um, you know, this is the most interesting year in human history, except for all future years. And he basically said that this is, you know, the, the takeoff, like the takeoff that we're experiencing right now um, in this year is monumental change so i'm guessing that potentially he could be for referring to the fact that this was the, the year that the agi algorithm was figured out this was the year that they figured out how to do it maybe this is the year that they deploy gpt5 which is you know a medium level agi system i have no idea what's going on but um point here is that what he said is that this is the most interesting year in human history is a pretty pretty bold statement and i think what he's also referring to is takeoff speed so if we take a look at this graph you can see that this shows us the takeoff um and of course we've got super exponential growth and then you know you the yagowski growth which is uh just sudden takeoff which is like out of nowhere then boom but i think this is going to be likely the one that we're experiencing now because every year just gets exponentially better and of course super exponential growth um is probably what we're going to be experiencing because he's saying that this is the most interesting year in human history except for all future years so i'm guessing like i said before they know what's coming with the ai systems they know what they're able to do they know where they're able to go and that means that they're able to see where things are going to go with their systems and since they're leading the race he can come out and clearly say that this is the most interesting year in human history except for all future years now out of all these points, what do you think about GPT-5? Do you think it's going to be as crazy as Sam Altman says? Do you think they really need these computing resources? Um, either way, it's a very interesting time to be someone who's looking at the AI space because things are moving quicker than they've ever have. And if you did enjoy the video, I will see you in the next one.